Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle and welcome back to Splatoon 3. And now that we've cleaned up a lot of this area, let's go ahead and go to the next level. Which, look like, which looks like it's going to be a good one. Try curling. Alterna's 11th most popular... Aphalasia activity. Reach the goal by using only curling bombs. This looks like it's going to be good. This looks like it's going to be very good. Okay, let's see. How will this go? Oh, I have to stand on this. Oh, I think you have to stand on that checkpoint while you s slide curling bombs. So I'll send that one out there. Cool. Oh, so this background looks really cool. I think you're going to want to slide curling bombs and swim along behind them. What is this place? And why is it so cool? Anyway, yeah, we can throw them out and then follow along behind them. Like that. Okay. Yikes, that's a, a tightrope. But it's fine because I can just do that. But what about the other ones? How am I supposed to do the other, one, other ones? I can't go out. So... Okay, that was just gonna work. Cool. Cool, didn't quite get them all at once. Hey! It got the job done. I guess that's supposed to happen. Hmm, I don't think we're supposed to... I don't, what are we supposed to do here? I don't see any targets. Well, we're gonna bounce off of that wall there, and that wall there, and then... Like that. Very smooth. Thank you. I, was, I didn't think it was that smooth, but anyway. Oh boy. Let's line it up, up again. Just like that, cool. I'm pretty good with those things. I like to think so. I <sighs> remember we can charge curling bombs. Yes. So let's do that. That's not gonna be in time. But it would have been good if it was. Go. Thank you. Okay, cool. Yes, amazing. Also, there's view pads here that I could actually use to see what I'm looking at. Which, speaking of which, looks absolutely horrendous. Have to use the balloon fish. Like that, cool. Great, nice shot. And there we go. That was a pretty good level. That was very good. Had to use my culling bomb skills that I don't actually have, but will pretend to have. Very nice. Let's go to the next level. Getting through these, but they do have some uh, parig costs to get in. Conveyor belt tightening. Destroy all the targets. Oh boy. Do you have to tighten a conveyor belt? I don't know. Okay, ink brush for this. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, hang on, we have to break the targets. If you were to remain alive, avoid being- Oh, wh wh we have to hit things and live. Well, the whole floor is moving. Yes, it is. I'm out of ink. You have to hit all the targets as well as staying alive. Okay. Recover a little bit. I kind of want the fish eggs, but I can't really see how to get them right now, so I'm just going to leave them. I don't think. It's fine. I don't know if these respawn or not. I'm assuming not. Okay, that was a lot of time spent doing that. Three left. I have to actually sp do this one. This way. Keep going. Oh. 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 That was very close. In several ways. One minute flat. That was very close. <laughs> that was so close. Why do I always cut to the last second in those types of games where you have to break all the boxes? I don't know. 
Like, if there was a time limit on that one, that would have been it. Basically, which it kind of is a time limit. It's a time limit without being an actual time limit. Oh my goodness. Time trial and errors. Break all the targets before time runs out. Okay, cool. It's basically what we just did, but now with an actual time limit. <laughs> kind of, except not conveyor belt madness. Squeezer. This could be interesting. Okay, the countdown will start once you land down there. Keep an eye on the, your ink levels as you go, okay? Oh, I will need to keep an eye on my ink levels for sure. This feels very satisfying. Come on. Halfway there, keep popping them. Very nice. Just ten left. That reminds me a lot of we play with the like balloon popping and all that. The the, the shooting mini game. That was that's what that reminded me of. And that was very satisfying as well. That was not too bad. I didn't even remember the time limit. It was just fun. Also, I like that they have the markers above the kettles to show you which ones you've completed and where they are. It's a lot better than having to go up to them and to figure out what you've done on them. Also, I like they can just check over here everything. Like, everything. But anyway, let's go to the last level of this area. And then I'm probably going to have to clean up the rest of the stuff later on. Rail pass. Reach the goal using ink rails. Splutter shot. Okay. Let's activate that and let's go. Yep, that's an ink rail. Go ahead and ink it up. Don't need to tell you about ink sticks, do I? Those things sting. Looks like you need to use the ink rail. Try hopping in there. Using B to jump. Yep. You can go all the squid rings. You'll have to try... <laughs> just gotta time this just right. Okay. Please, how do I drop? How do I... Please. Okay, there we go. Just go underneath. Cool. Up again. This is an interesting level. Just gotta keep in line with it. Could even wait at some pits. Nope, okay. Phew, I got goosebumps. <laughs> I was very concerned. Um, let's hit that. So many tiny platforms. Agent 3, the captain says let the Inkerails lead the way. Okay. Which means I should go somewhere. I don't know what that's supposed to be helping me with. Not really. Okay. I'm just glad the water isn't rising. At this point. Let's try and follow this path here. As much as possible. Although this looks like it goes up. And Nick, where up to where? Nowhere. What does that mean? Well, I think this means I can throw over there, like that. But I actually wanna... Oh, there's nothing there. Never mind, I don't need that. But I do need to go back. That's why it's going this way. Okay, that's why it wants me to lead the ink rails. Trust the ink rails. Way to ride the ra that rail agent, three. Thank you. Octo snipers ahead, be careful. Ah! I couldn't do anything. Can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me. It's fine, I don't need to take them out, although I'm probably gonna take them out anyway since we're going up here. How the tables have turned. Sink them up, and let's go. 
right to the end, apparently. Mission complete. And that's all of this area done. Now I just need to do the extra weapons and clean up that last bit of goop. Make sure I have everything. Basically. But I think I'm going to come back for the extra weapon stuff. And also the map. The, the map is the other thing I need to do. Which again, I can probably do that later on. Okay, let's see if we can get this. 900. Let's do that. Also 300 back there, apparently. Any extra secrets? Nope. Cool. Let me check the map. Okay, there are a few more hidden things, apparently. I need to keep that in mind, so that it will actually show me on the map where stuff is hidden. Okay, meal ticket. Food ticket, that one. I... I still don't understand why I'm calling it a meal ticket. Is that called a meal ticket in a different game? I don't know. Anyway, um, there's still a secret over here, apparently. Somewhere. Throw you out there. It's probably like over here. Yeah, there it is. Cool. More power eggs. Something over that way. Yep. All the way over here. Sardinium. Nice. How many of those do we need? More, more, I'm assuming. Yeah, we have one. That's not going to do much, except for this, which I will do now. Just so we, so we can complete the tree all the way over this way. Also, I like how you can actually, um, if you're not using the motion tr controls, you can use both sticks, like, separately or together. Like, if you do one, it's like this speed, but if you use both, it goes like this. It's super cool. Anyway, let's see, what else is there to find? Something over there. Okay, little buddy. Little buddy. Little buddy. Surely, somewhere. Something. Little buddy, please. Speak to me. Nothing? Is the green around here? Hmm. I'm missing something? I wish I could zoom in right now. I don't think I can. Unfortunately. Maybe once we to fill in the rest of the map here first. Possibly. There's something here, I know it. The map is telling me there's something here. So there has to be something here. Just gonna need to hit this spot here. Um... Nobody, find something, please. It's not like a thing above me. I don't think it's below me. Oh, there goes little buddy. Nothing up here. Come on, little buddy. Did you, did you go green everywhere else? Also, it must be down here. Yeah, there it is. Why didn't you find that for me? It's fine. I found it myself. Okay, let's try over here now. Somewhere. I think it's further back. Yeah. Oh, right there. Cool. Power eggs, and that looks like it's all the secrets that we can find on the ground. Ah, so let's go over to the next area. We have a fair bit of extra power eggs to spend, so we might as well try and un un open up some more things. We might even be able to open up the area to the boss kettle. Quite possibly. Or just, you know, clean up. Just in general. Come on, small fry. Please. 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 It takes so long for him to recharge, I guess. More music. Good. Like that. Pack of cards.
point upgrade, I guess. It's so satisfying to clear stuff out all at once. I should store up all my fish, like my, all my power eggs, and then clear it out all at once. Also, hello. Glowing. More fish eggs. Cool. I can use that. Let's go ahead and hit that. Okay, there's a box up here. Go small fry, I believe in you. Another sardinium. I should probably keep looking for sardinium. How many? I have one, and I need four for the next thing. I'm probably not going to be able to get the next thing for a little while. But I can try. 2,000 for the boss. Okay, well I'm not doing that yet. I've got to unlock more stuff first. Sea scroll. Hashtag pond snail like a boss. Hashtag Eddie is gnarly. Hashtag chaotic sunshine. Hashtag fresh headgear. Hashtag shell fish be fresh fish. Hashtag ma master of merchants. Hashtag nautilus uh, intro inspection. Hashtag got that golden ratio. Hashtag get gotta get out of your shell. Hashtag not culture for life. Cool. It's a lot of hashtags. Oh, buddy found something. More fish eggs. There's also a thing over here that we can get. More music. Cool. Make this area a little bit more lively. Oh, so that's interesting. That's interesting. Don't need the 200. Or 2,000. That was the one. So we can actually just get to the boss now without paying the 200. 2,000. I keep getting that wrong. Oh my goodness, really? I have die. Also, I'm all the way down here now. I wanted to be up there and get the... other thing. Just want to get... the box over here. Okay, little buddy, find something. Yep. I don't know how I knew that was there. I just knew there was something here. It was too empty. How much is that one? 900? Let's grab that one. And then let's do a level. It was both 200, okay. Ah, uh, let's go. Propel to greatness. Reach the goal using propellivators. Okay, here we go, let's go. Well, there's the end. We just need to get there. <laughs> well, there's the goal, but it looks like we have to wait. Watch your step. Hello. Where'd nobody go? I think he got splattered. Ow. It's fine. Get that one in there, and that one there. Something down here as well. Just some fish eggs, but it's a good amount of fish eggs, so... Let's bring this platform down. So we can go back up. Also, we can use little buddy to activate these, I'm assuming. Yeah. So that's useful as well. If you need to just have that active. Without spending too much work. Don't stop moving. Don't want you to panic, but maybe panic a little. <laughs> okay. Let's go. We need to remember that we can also press the D-pad up to call little buddy back. Because that's a useful thing to know. Ow. Little buddy, come back. Let's splash down. Nice. Okay, we're up here now. Let's activate that to go down. Dive we shall. Come back, little buddy. 
It's so useful having little buddy for this. Just to call him back and all that. Keep things active. Like that. That's super useful for little buddy. Ink like the wind, Agent 3, and watch your step. How am I supposed to do this? I don't know, I can just kind of go up here, so... I don't see problem. Octo Commanders. Need to be careful of them. Come back, little buddy. Go, little buddy, go. Go, 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 go. Also throw you onto that so we can get on top of you. Okay, let's go. Up to the end. Nice wind, I mean, win. Very nice, that was a pretty good level. It felt really smooth. Okay, let's activate that. Try and clean up a little bit more around here. Oh, sea scroll! Just randomly. Cool. You wouldn't have found that if you weren't trying to do the inexpensive things. The Manta's Clan... The Manta Clan's early morning ritual. After careful grooming of their... Prectoral fins, the family gathers for their fam... The favorite breakfast. This unique pla plankton dish. A family recipe passed down across generations. It is said to enhance the mind, body, and bodily toxins. Oh, cool. Looks like bread and soup. Let's activate that one. Just to clear some more space. There's also a castle over there that I haven't activated. Good thing I can activate it from over here. Um, I probably shouldn't spend that much more. Also, I didn't get this one. Nobody? Where'd he go? Oh, there's like, more kettles. There's so many kettles. There's something here. Where did the little buddy go? Right here, cool. If I can hit it, please. There we go. Now let's see scroll. One year after expanding his business into a new region, bombarding the Splatlands with over 20,000 hours of rapid-fire weapons chatter. His steel... Uh, hang on. His steel scopes are aimed at a new horizon. What's next for the so-called Arsenal Ambassador? Ooh, sparkles. Uh, I saw something else. Another kettle somewhere over there. Although I don't think I can get to that at the moment in any way, shape, or form. Hmm, there's a lot of goop here. Well, I could probably just get to it from over there. If I played my cards right. Since I can just go up here. And then down again. Very nice. Okay, let's see what's next, because we might have actually skipped... No, we didn't skip anything. We actually did the first one. Okay. Cool. And this is the next one over here. And that goes up that way. Interesting. I'm actually going to take a second, because I feel like... Yes. Secret. More fish eggs. And there's also this over here. And nobody found something, which might have been this. Oh, and down here as well. Another Sardinium. How many of those do we have now? Two. Well, it's fine. We'll get more. I was hoping that we'd have more than that. I keep losing track of how much stuff I have. Anyway, let's go in. Octohoppers don't have a sense of humor. And they don't hate pun. And they hate and they hate puns. They don't hate puns? They hate puns. One of those is definitely a better option. And they, they should love puns. Watch for hops hopsicles as you head toward the goal. Is a hopsicle something we know already, or is this a new thing? I think this is a new thing. Oh my goodness. 
They're bouncing. They're bouncing. <laughs> this looks like a new thing. Looks like those opto opto hoppers are happy to see you. My pun must have enraged them. Sorry. Okay. Let's get you. I like this idea for the enemies. Giving them the ability to jump makes them a lot more likely to be able to beat us. They're a harder target to hit, so... It's a good design. Okay. Also, they can hop up places. Oh my goodness. That's a really good improvement for them. Let's get rid of all of you. Very nice. There's also a thing here that we can use, so let's use that. Very nice. Watch out, there's three, they're above you, don't let them. Yep. I didn't get all of it, that's fine. Whee! Oh my goodness. They do be jumping. Oh, there it goes. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> it's a real shame. That's one drawback to their new form. There's the goal, uh, hop to it. Oof, I'm done. Ow, ah, ee, ah. Wait, what happened to little buddy? Can they crush anything's behind them, underneath them? I think so. I think that's what it is. So don't get underneath them. Anyway, there we go. Just like that. And now I think it's time that I head back through levels that we've already completed and do the extra weapons. And also probably clear up the map in the other area. Splat Doolies. Obviously I love Splat Doolies. Doolies is the weapon that I had before using Blob Lubber all the time. It's just nice to have a dodge roll. It's so helpful. Doolies is just good for a, a close-up fight, or even a far-off what fight, as you know, if you do your aiming correctly. It's just so satisfying, and it's also pretty good for uh, covering ground as well, and also good for speed. Hydra Splatling. It's definitely not my first choice. It takes a long time to charge up, but it's good for crowd control and covering a lot of ground at, from a long way away. And you can kind of tap it a little bit just to do little mini shots, but it's better used in charged form. Although you don't have to charge it up all the way to even do a good job, so you can just charge it up a little bit. Depends on how you use it. There's also a box back here that I never checked, so I'm gonna get that as well. Just some extra fish eggs. But it's worth it. Carbon Roller. Rollers are good for just covering ground as you go. And for, as for combat, you, th you see them for the first time and you think, I can roll my enemies and paint the ground at the same time. But that's really not what you want to do. What you actually want to do is jump and throw at the same time to do a vertical throw. And that's a lot more stronger than just doing it. It's a lot more strong than just rolling over them. You can also just tap while on the ground to just throw in general. Which is also a good way to just do damage to enemies. As you can see with that enemy there, I did a jump, and it killed it a lot faster than any other way I could have done it, I think. It's good for reaching on top of ledges as well. If you ever play in a game against a roller, be careful of ledges, basically. If you get too close to them, they can hit you. L3 Nozzle Nose. This is a strong straight shooter, which will constantly shoot in front of it. But it only shoots in bursts, so you have to keep pressing the button, you can't just hold it down. You can shoot a fair way from itself as well. One short burst is enough to take out an enemy, apparently. And it's good for turfing ground in front of it, so it's good for getting to a fight quickly. And you can somewhat spread around your ink as you're shooting its burst. 
Apparently also you can't keep grinding f uh, power eggs off of these enemies here because they just don't give you some after a bit. I think you can only get so many from each launcher. New record. That's surprising. Try slosher It's good for hitting your enemies without needing to aim too much because it spreads it out, but also does a pretty good shot of power. And it's good for turfing a little bit. It turfs a little bit more of a mushroom in front of itself. If you can get above your enemies though, it's really good. Ah, so that's how you get up here. You just have to explode that and then you can get up. I'm not really loving this weapon for this level. It doesn't seem very strong against the enemies. Even when, like, when I'm up close to them at least. It might be better if I'm further away, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess it could be better. Playing it close, playing, playing it risky apparently. This weapon probably does well if you use your sub weapon more. Slosher, except that this is also the balloon popping on the conveyor belt level. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, that's a refill thing there. That's interesting. It's good for hitting lots of targets in front of it, especially if you can aim up a little bit. Since the ink's going to fall down. Oh, you're supposed to actually break those to make a staircase to get that. I'm. I'm not going to care about that. I think it's a little bit easier to use the slosher on this level. I didn't come as close to the death as I did last time. But it does use up ink quite quickly, but you, you have to use the ink to actually swim around anyway. And flings, flings are roller. Again, this level. It's a bit of a heavyweight roller, which means it's a bit slower, but it is strong. Oh, and it uses ink like there's no tomorrow. Oh boy, I might have trouble with this. Especially if I do that, not that. Oh boy. Come on, ink. Ink, 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 ink. No, hang on. I should be rolling more. Just use regular throws. Oh boy. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. Just a little bit more. Coming close to the line again. There we go. Yeah, that one's a tough one because it's it's a lot slower and uses up link ink a lot more. But I just use the regular throw in front of you. More standing on the ground. H3 Nozzle Nose. Again, shoots in bursts, uses preci precision fighting, and does a good job. You can kind of spread it around again, like I said, with the other weapon. But other than that, it's pretty good, although it's using a lot of ink for this level. If you can line up your targets, that's good. Classic Squiffer. This feels like a strong charging weapon. Somewhat strong if you charge it up all the way. But if you don't charge it up all the way, it still works fine, except it doesn't reach as far, is the thing. Oh, and it uses ink a lot. Again, try to line up your targets. And don't miss. Gonna run out of time on this. I probably actually recommend using the burst bombs that it has. Welp. Its burst bombs do use a fair bit of ink though. Also try and get up close and just take them out one at a time possibly. But again don't miss. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
Well, that's the first... No, that game over before, never mind. I thought it was the first game over, but no. We've had that happen. Gotta take the time to recharge. Hopefully, I'll do better because of it. Okay, good. Waste no time. Wow, where did that come from? That's a tough one, and it probably will just take a few tries to get if you're trying to do it yourself. Rapid Blaster Pro. It seems fairly strong, but it does take a while for some things still, but that's to be expected. Strong, straight, shooter-ish, and it's Blaster. Fairly rapid and very powerful. Feels very powerful to use. Good, good strong feeling. Very solid. That's all of the third sight, second weapon stuff that I need to do. Although I think I'm going to leave the next area of stuff for a little bit longer. There's only two levels there, but I'm going to leave it for a little bit. So let's head back to site one. Uh, on the map, probably. And see if we can get the map reward. Hang on. One more. There we go. Since we've cleared up this area's map. We rediscovered this place out thoroughly. This map. Very nice. Stick for a locker. But anyway. That is probably it for now. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.